Welcome back. The punishment really begins in around about 2.2 kilometers. Uh, we still have our quartet of escapees, albeit broken down into uh, two pairings. As you can see, Eddie and Damagaski up the road, Kola and Edo now split by 50 seconds. Oh, <laughs> and resting his hams. And uh, why wouldn't you? Uh, Lucas Edo just not looking a happy boy at all. He is. Uh, more renowned as a sprinter, uh, so he can cope with these ramps, but I expect he's going to be going backwards fairly shortly. The Swiss champion, Martin Kohler, has been at the uh, head of that duo for some time. The pairing up front, well, they're sharing responsibilities, which is good to see. Uh, Nico Sun's Ede. Day, Ede day, of, uh, it's very uh, cold, uh, minus two up here, but yeah, Danielson looking mm. uh, very good. He is uh, back off the naughty step, of course, along with uh, teammates Christian van der Velt and uh, David Zabriskie. Uh, so uh, you can uh, form your own opinions on that. But uh, um, Tom Danielson at the moment uh, really stretching the legs here. Uh, wow. Danielson and some um, real quality here. Yeah, they're just sitting back and waiting. And they come round this uh, corner now, um, they'll see the, the one kilometre to go. And again, to Katusha setting a good tempo. Bradley Wiggins sitting nicely in second place there. Quintana just behind. And uh, Tim Danielson caught oh, a big effort going. by Wiggins now. Superb. Well, who said he couldn't attack in the mountains and he's gone for it with uh, one to go? Now, who's he dragging alongside uh, him here? I think it's Valverde just behind him. But uh, Quintana. Wiggins, uh, sorry, Quintana. There he is. Couldn't get a view of him. And uh, Wiggins comes. is. Uh, <laughs> this is fantastic. 900 meters to go. Go, Brad. This is amazing. A, uh, well, he showed he had some fast legs earlier on and he's showing he's got it in the climb as well. Yeah, he's got uh, Pinot of uh, from Saint Azur in third place, just coming up a couple more riders coming up to the gap and you know he done this in the first stage went on the attack in the last few kilometers and he went with about 500 meters to go in the sprint trying his hardest but uh, just Quintana sitting really nicely in second place Pino sitting in third and uh, I think Bradley Wiggins great effort there but it doesn't look he's going to be having the strength to win this stage 600 meters a little bit less than that but right look now look at the damage he's done to the front group it's, it's all huge. happened in the last kilometer <laughs> it's blown away and uh, Bradley Wiggins has been responsible again he's not afraid to crack that whip and he got Anton one of those who's suffering as uh, the end game is right now and still we goes up front but that is uh, Quintana on his tail 500 to go says the graphic don't trust it just wait till you see the roadside markers and uh, this is going to be all hell for leather and Joachim Rodriguez suddenly shows his nose here you can see him on the far left uh, albeit about five riders back over five hours in the saddle and all praise to Bradley Wiggins for uh, absolutely shaking here this one up and here goes uh, Rodriguez right now he's out of the saddle Quintana drifts over he's on his back wheel right now that is rodriguez in second place right now he's on superb form we know he's carried that over Valverde. from the Tirana adriatico but valverde's there as well but this is quintana's day by the looks of things quintana goes uh, what has rodriguez got in response yeah, with uh, 300 metres ago in that corner, and uh, Quintana's gone. Valverde just sitting on uh, Rodriguez. We thought Rodriguez had the legs, but it looks as if this uh, Colombian rider riding for the Spanish team, oh, Star has got it in the bag. Lovely job by him. He stayed, kept calm when Bradley Wiggins went for it, and Quintana's going to get a famous one here. And I think it may well be his teammate Valverde who comes through for second place. Joaquin Rodriguez just starting to fade ever so slightly, but the pace up higher and higher. Oh, what about that? Quintana takes it and we look back and wait for them to come round the corner and his teammate is there as well Bradley Wiggins in fourth place just behind Joachim Rodriguez what a great mugging job from movie star they showed early on Brian they were prepared to take on the chasing and they have delivered yeah, a great one too, and that's why they were setting the pace earlier on in this climb. You can just see uh, Dan Martin coming up to uh, to finish just in this uh, next group coming around the corner, just losing a wee bit of time. Looked as if uh, Bradley Wiggins there in fourth place, looking very good attacking. It got really steep towards the top, as we said, kicked up 12, 15 percent. Very difficult stage, and that's why people were giving it the giving this um, this uh, climb a bit of respect because it was so hard towards the top. And just look at the time gaps. Uh, <laughs> these guys are going to be quite high up the order, and they're finishing, what, a minute down? Goodness gracious. Uh, the clock is going to tick on down. We said there'd be some huge gaps out there. Movie star, it's their day. Quintana takes it and does an amazing job of it as well. Great teamwork by them. And uh, still they struggle on here. Bradley